And hello, hello, hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. For sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, Mama G has a new avatar. Yes. Yes. Hmm. It's Friday Night Feisty. Wow. Nice. What That's what doing? I think I look like, but I don't. Wow. Look at you go, girl. <laughs> 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 I don't even think I look like that. <laughs> no way. Welcome in, everybody. Happy Friday night. Hi, guys. Nest. Can't wait. I will see everybody here. Thanks for coming in, Little Martin's Nest. Schreiker, hello, hello. How are you? Third bronze. What does that mean? Oh, first, second, third bronze. Yes. I have this like little piece hanging out here. You see it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's tuck that behind the ear. Hello, Wes. Thanks for coming in. Pirates Little Woman, can't wait for this chat to start. This will be a fun night. Well, welcome in, Pirates Little Woman. Hello, hello. Richard Sanchez, I got your pew, pew, pews out today. Hey, Moses. Thank you for the beautiful compliment today. Carl Bach, hi, all. You should start out right away, bam, with an auction and then chat while it's going on. Just saying, I'm an old man and tired early and miss out on all kinds of stuff. You got it, Carl. Let's do it. Because <laughs> you know what? I'm read, his next, read his next sentence, though. And by old, I mean 53. But I've abused and continue to abuse my body. Hellfire. Love you, ladies. Glad I found you guys. Only a handful, handful I tune into now, just the real ones. Oh, thank you, Carl. Carl, that is so sweet of you to say that. And you know what? I'm 56 and I'm right with you. I yeah, am, I'm 54. I'm right with these guys too. So I abused my body my whole entire life. This mama bear is so tired. So tired. So, yeah, we will get right to it. Yes, Richard, you're awesome. And I invoiced you and boom, shipped it before you even paid for it. <laughs> How's that for you, Richard? <laughs> I think you can contest to that, right? Did I tell you how I realized my vision was really bad? Why? Why was your vision really bad? Yay. Thank you, Richard, for keeping an eye on that. Bush beer. Sorry, man. Ooh, what's that? That's Carl again. It's Carl? Yeah. See, that's the same profile picture. Keep oh. going. He changes his name a lot tonight. <laughs> be careful, Carl, because you won't be able to change it back after so many times. <laughs> I think he's on his third one right now. Dad joke, man. That's he, the other one. A big paper truck overturned on the highway this morning. Amazingly, there was no congestion for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, you've got one on me, Carl, because I don't even know how to change my name. I have no idea. Hey, Susie Q. Susie Q. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Bill. Hello, Dora. Hey, Dad. The rose. Hello, sweetheart. I finally mm -hmm. reached you. I have your package ready to roll out the door, honey. Lindsay and you guys, I did do a lot of shipping today. Unfortunately, I'm still behind, but I've got two elves helping me tomorrow. Promise, pinky promise. So I should get caught up tomorrow. So Ginger Ann, where are you? I just saw you, honey. I saw your call today and I, I couldn't answer. I was just so, so busy. It was Hi, so Dawn. crazy. K Fry and Sharon Lynn, Shell UK, thanks for coming Shell. in at Lava Lamp Live. Those of you that come into my little Lava Lamp Live, I really appreciate it. It's nice hanging out with you. Um, Virginia, Virginia. Okay. Virginia, thank you so much for the payment. I got the alert that you paid. I don't know. You didn't pay the invoice, though. I don't know what email address you used. I I looked on file the email the email address that we have on file. I have to record the payment. So I I shipped out your package, and then I did get notification that you paid. But I don't know where you paid or what email you paid. You didn't pay the invoice, so I have to register. I have to register the um the payment. 
I don't know where you sent me the message because I got an alert on my phone, but I don't know where, I don't know if you used Facebook or where it went to. So we need to um, uh, figure that out. Primetime treasure hunter. Hi, Dom. Lovely ladies. Hey, Carl. Hello, Mrs. Primetime, if you're watching. Hi, Mrs. Primetime. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, you guys, if I don't, if I missed anybody, which I missed a lot, a lot of people, we are going to get right to it. Bonnie, thanks for coming in, sweetheart. And I saw Jade. <clears throat> I'm putting um, Virginia's email in the private chat for you, Donna. Yeah, she dropped it in the, in the chat. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Connie Johnson. Hello. Hi, Connie. Um, Picky Nikki, hello, sweetheart, Joanne Young, hello. Okay, you guys, really, really quick before we start. Huge, big, enormous, like bigger than life, shout out to Bolo Buddies. Yes, my girl, 100%. Bigger than life. Her, I we love you, her. Courtney. <laughs> Is she here? No, but she'll watch it. She'll she'll be in. I know she'll be here. Hi, Robert. Well, all we have to do is say something dirty and she'll come I in. Know, I know, right? <laughs> so I picked up probably, I don't know, T, 30, maybe 40 subscribers. Yeah. Um, I made it over 3,700, which, which is phenomenal. Like I just, because my channel grows slow. Yeah, you know, I do. I don't, I don't put up a lot of pre-recorded content and a lot of people don't re-watch lives. So my, my channel grows really slow, but, but thanks to Courtney and that little, uh, that little thrift challenge that she challenged us all to do. Yes. Um, we got a lot of new subscribers. So we did. can you mute that? Too? I'm shutting my phone off. Yes. Thank you. Sorry. Um, so for those of you that may be here and in the background, welcome. I'm Donna. This is T. This way. This is T. <laughs> this is Mama G down below. She helps us. She helps us with moderating, along with a lot of other beautiful, wonderful people that help out in the chat. Um, hi, Pammy. Thanks for being here. Yes, Bonnie. It is. It is amazing. So absolutely credit Jabby's treasures. Welcome in. So yes, hey, credit, pleasure. it's, it's a lot, you guys, it took her like, I know because I, I'm friends with Courtney. So it's a lot to organize an event like that. It's a lot of work. Just like when T and I organize um, Black Friday, uh, uh, marathons and you know other things that we organize it's a ton of work so she did a phenomenal job like the meetup we're trying to organize that seems to be lagging <laughs> yeah meet up in philly on friday the 25th if anybody six, wants to six. Come. You keep saying that the 26th no i'm flying in on the 25th oh 26th 26, it's, 26. it's gonna be at night um, Friday night. It's going to be that Friday night. Um, and it's the Hilton at City Center. It's, um, oh, shoot. Convention. It's Hilton, Hampton. It's no, it's Hampton Convention Center City something I, like that. I'm going for my daughter's volleyball game, but while I'm Hampton there. Hampton Inn, yeah, Hampton Inn, I think. Hampton I think. Inn, yeah. But I while think. I'm there, T's going to drive out. And maybe Brian, right? You said he mm -hmm. might come and, and, mm -hmm. uh, and come and visit. So if anybody's in that area, I would love to, uh, I'd love for you to come and, um, and do a, I've never been to Philly, so first thing I'll do is have a Philly cheesecake. I love not cheesecake, Philly cheese, cheese steak. <laughs> yeah, chili. Yes, after you have the pizza I bring from New York, I can't <laughs> wait to have some northern <laughs> bread and pizza. I am going to be so carved up that weekend because you guys down here we don't get good bread, we don't get good pizza either at all. It's awful. So not like you do in Boston, New York, you know, Philly up in those wonderful states up there. Um, oh, let me see. Mine Dad. too, Carl. Trust me. <laughs> My OCD is crazy. You don't know what room you're in yet and exactly what time you'll be there. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I, I had a you flight. You have to book that flight too. I had a flight booked, but I had to cancel it because... Uh, Delta JetBlue, JetBlue canceled the return flight to th instead of uh, 
six thirty at night. They canceled it and rescheduled one for three thirty, and we could still be playing volleyball at three thirty. So now I've got Here's Courtney. Courtney. Whoop, 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 whoop. Big shout out, Courtney. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. Thank you. You got me over thirty-seven. Awesome job with everybody. So. Courtney, you can drop the drop the link to your channel because your channel has everybody's channel on it. And you guys um, go over and watch watch the videos, and then you can um, go to her community page and vote on your best on on the best video. There's already somebody like winning like big big time. So she has a big channel. So she has a lot of followers, but she does really nice. She does really nice content. She does. She's very natural with her her videotaping. So. Um, so that's really awesome. And let's see, I don't know, any other program notes that you can think of or anything um, you want to cover? No, like this. Um, just again, a big shout out when you guys do have time. It, it is a little bit of time consuming, but we appreciate you guys. This is really important to all of us in the community. If you go watch our videos, make a comment, go see who else participated. It's a thrift challenge and vote. Please vote for who you think had the best thrift haul. I know it wasn't me, so you've got that one out. <laughs> I don't think it was me. It wasn't me either. But, but it's please, okay. it and was... don't do it based on favoritism. Really, do it based on truly who you think had the best stuff for the best thing. I'll admit, I'm green because I don't even. I didn't even enjoy it to be honest with you, Courtney, because I'm so out of the loop. I was making backdoor deals like. I bought like bulk stuff today from him. Like I bought out his whole back of his store. Like that's what I'm all about. I'm not about picking through any anymore. I used to be, but now since I've gotten the bug with the big wholesale stuff, I want to buy, I don't want to pick out one pair of jeans. I want to buy your whole rack of jeans. Give me a, give me a fair price. That's all. <laughs> Donna's quote of the night. Your character is far more important than your past or your future. It's who you are that matters, not what you have done or will do. Ooh, that's a good one. Very good. Thank you, June. Oh, good. I'm, I'm watching everybody in the chat. Say, T, I got my package today. Thanks. I love it. You're welcome, Cindy. You're welcome, Craig. You're welcome, Someone else mentioned, I'm sorry, I forgot who, but you guys are so welcome. Enjoy. Awesome. There needs to be a best makeup category. What does that mean? I don't know. He said to you, did your makeup in your hair for this? I didn't do anything different. <laughs> he Thanks was talking everybody. about how beautiful you both looked in your videos today. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Okay. Hey, James. Hello there. Cajun Chris, thank hey, Chris. you. Thank you for coming coming in. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for coming back to the show. All right. I bought it all, Jenny. Don't worry. It's coming to auction. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's cool. Everybody had their own little way of doing it. Donna, it was it was great. Lava lamp last night. It really got did it. I fell asleep so early. I Look was up so started. late for the first time. I'm never up that late. I think I was in that room till like 1 30. That's not really? like yeah, yeah, I I missed it. I was chit chatting. <laughs> I fell asleep. Yeah. So you guys, for those of you that don't know, the lava lamp live. I buy shit. Hello, say hello. Hi, Christopher. To me. I didn't see you. I'm sorry, Christopher. Christopher, oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you so much. Looking for a deal. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone, for coming Aww, in. Thank Frank you. Perez. Thank you. Donna, the matches you found were very cool. Thank you. I love my, I love my, um, Dominic, was it you that did, um, a, a special on the, not a special, but um, I think I have them right here. Um, I, I showed them in my video. Where did I do yeah. with them? No, I thought I had them right here, but I think I put them away. Um, the coconut. Did you do a, did you do a, a, a show on the coconut heads and, and um, how some of them can be very valuable? I think I, he did. I, I think, think he it did. Was Dominic. Yeah. yeah. I gave him a shout out in the video. Um, because and I, I had said that they're pretty plentiful down here. 
So I found two and I had to buy both. I love them. I think that they're so cool. I, I, think, <laughs> I think they'd be a fun thing to collect. They're all like hey, so Susan. unique, so different. Hi, Susan. I did a video on Matchbox, so I'm going to have to watch that. Nancy might be interested in that because she just bought a whole bunch of matches. Right, you sold me. all those Matchbooks to her. Two big lots fall. Big, yeah. Huge lots fall. Yeah, she bought them all. I sent them ground. In case anybody, Susan, wants to make sure I did. I did send them ground. I can't believe how expensive ground is. Ground is awful. It used to be the cheapest way to send stuff. Right? Yeah, it's, it's more so expensive. expensive. It was so expensive to send those matches because I sent them ground. I didn't yes, want to it's true. Matchbooks do tape up very little space for sure. It's like that and postcards. I didn't want an airplane to blow up because of my package matchbooks. I have a headache in my eyes tonight. Can you guys see it? Can do you see the headache? I do. I have a headache. You have guys ever get a headache in like in your eyeballs? Like I have to go, yeah. I have to go take something for it, but I can feel it like just like right in my eyes. Why is um Chris saying you have to give Sandy Kirk back her wrench? I'll go over to Did my. Did we miss room. Sandy? I didn't. Sandy, I didn't even see you, honey. And she doesn't have her wrench. Sandy, make a comment. Okay, you guys. Before sinuses, no, Lindsay. I don't have sinus problems. Thank you, Lindsay. All. Lindsay, yes, I'm sorry. Sandy. Yes, you were the other one. Thank you. Yeah, prime time did the coconut heads I had were from Florida. Yes. Yeah, mine are from Florida too. Just take some special pancakes. What does that mean? I think she meant mean special brownies, but just saying. With a name um, like that, don't blindly read what's written in the chat. Okay, I won't. I won't read any more. Okay. It's really funny a lot of times, and I laugh, but just don't read it out loud. Virginia says, take your hair down. It could be. You know what? I've had my hair up all day. and like Yeah, that does hurt me, too, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. had it up all day in this messy bun and I just I didn't have time to like you know you know I usually like to do my hair and stuff and I just was like they get what they get because this is what they get tonight <laughs> I don't well, know you time. could take it down and put a scarf on your head and then it wouldn't you wouldn't worry about your hair you'd look cute but your headache wouldn't keep going with a pony in it all right. Well, maybe when T is showing, I'll go do that. Because if I took this down right now, I would look like the crazy lady that I am. That I am. <laughs> if I pulled this elastic out of my hair right now, I think everybody, hi, Amy, I think everybody would be like, whoa, because <laughs> that's what I look like when I wake up in the morning. Ready? This is what I look like when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning, husband. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not oh, bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. We'll just put it back up. Um, okay. So for anybody who's watching in the background, thank you so much for coming. You do have to register. No, I got bumps everywhere. You do have to register in order to bid. Hey, Craig. Welcome in, honey. Um, Jade Mood. Hello, hello, sweetheart. K Fry. Um, all right. I'm not going to worry about this fiasco of a hair tonight. Um, I was saying you need to register. Mama G, can you drop the link, please? We don't like to hold up the bidding when, um, we start. So now would be a good time to register, to register. I need to go take an aspirin. So, yeah, we, we invoice here. We do not require immediate payments. We do invoice. Of course, we do ask that you pay your invoice promptly upon receipt. Um, but sometimes you may not get your invoice. I didn't invoice anybody from yesterday's auction. I probably will invoice those tomorrow. Um, but I had that a, a bunch of other stuff to take care of today. Um, but most of my packages are out. So thank you guys for being patient. Joey Bada Bing, welcome. Hey, Joey. Joey has a video too. Joey was part of the 12 of us. Yep, he did an awesome video as well. So my phone is dinging and I don't know where it is. Let me see if I can find it. I, um, I shut mine off, you told me to, so I did. Uh, 
Yeah, but I've got kids out of the house, so. Yes, Carl, I will invoice you. Sure if not, when we get off the first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you, Carl, for the additional purchase. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, Two dollar increments until we get to fifty. Five dollar increments once we get to fifty, till we get to a hundred, and then ten dollar increments. If you are bidding, please, guys, just type out so that we know you're out. You once we get to the last two bidders and we're down to the wire, once one of them goes out, we're going to call it immediately. So if it's something you're interested in, you might want to jump in ahead of time. Be ready to, you know, to bid because that's kind of a new uh format we're following now just to make things go a little bit quicker and if you do go out and you do want to come back in as long as we haven't typed sold in the chat we welcome you to come back in maybe all of a sudden you saw something that you didn't see before or you realize oh that's worth more than i thought things like that so um we appreciate it I've been playing with my hair the whole time trying to get the bumps out of it. Hey, James. Okay. All right, you guys. So I brought some really awesome records. I, I have some nice gospel records. I have one lot left of nice gospel records. It's the... Okay. It was the rap that I thought was that was um, gospel last night. I got some nice rock and roll. Um, I have some watches. I have some jewelry. I have some plush. Hi, Bonnie. I have a crafting lot. I I don't know. I, I just, I have a bunch of stuff. So we're just going to just go ahead and, uh, and uh, Joey, we need to set up a time to meet. We both have such busy schedules. I know you took two weeks off, but I bet it flew by. Um, hey, Joe, welcome in. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, James Cisco. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm going to be in Orlando next weekend. I need to talk to you um, about that. Okay. I'm leaving, I'm leaving on Thursday. Okay. I'm going to be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So there's only four tournaments left. I've got Orlando, and then we've got Philly, and then we have Miami, and then we have Daytona, and then we're done. Okay. So done for the season. Thank goodness. Because it's a lot, you guys. It's a lot. It's a huge expense, and it's a lot. Um, okay, let's start with this for my first item. I'm going to put myself on. Go ahead. You go get yourself ready. Yes, ma'am. You going What's to? Going? Okay. How about this? It belonged to Kathy Denoon. And it's a vintage 45 record. Now I don't, I didn't look and see. We'll look together. It's got all of the, the things. Um, as far as, oh, this is a record, you guys. Kids that don't do with strangers. That's one of those. Um, what's this one? Children's television workshop. Oh, like. Uh, Okay, so that's that. And then we have, um, all right, I'll just hold them up. Hold me with your eyes, the new colony. This one's called Playboy, 1968. Um, I just want to mention that Joey did put in the chat, Donna, please call me tomorrow anytime if you want between eight and five. Okay, thank you. Ohio Express, yummy, yummy. Are we I'll starting this at 25 or 30? Uh, let's start it at 30. I'm just going to show you some of what's in here and then probably the lemon pipers, peppers, and then the rest will probably be a surprise because it's packed, you guys, and I don't, I'm, I'm not going to take the time to go through all of it. Here's a Beatles, the inner light. Here's the Four Seasons. Here's the Bee Gees. Here's uh, Tommy Bobby. I don't know who that is. Oh, she's got them. Look at this. They're all. All right, look at this. Can you see? She's got them all written down. Um, she is still a mystery. Valley of the Dolls. Simon Says. Love is Blue. 
but let's see if those let's see if it's what's actually in there okay um this one is the box tops cry like a baby that was on there right um the foundations baby now that i found you these are like like really like jukebox like records i think this one is otis redding all right let's see what else is in here She's still a mystery the love and spoonfuls so what what would you say this is like 50s you guys like 50s 60s i don't know well that's a dion warwick um simon says bonnie said some 60s paul marat the turtles yeah they're oldies and let's see sam and dave uh the lemon peppers oh this one here's susan oh susan no i don't know how it goes bend me shape me the american breed mitch Ryder, glenn campbell i know that one and here's, hey, kimberly here's another one the beatles is that oh kimberly garcia hi honey um, the Beatles, hello, goodbye is in here. And then Daydreamer, Believer. Daydream. The Fifth Daydream. Dimension. Um, Day in the Techniques. The Four Seasons. Okay, I'm going through the whole thing because I'm so, I'm so nosy. The Cow Skills. Sam and Davey. Um, Wilson Pickett, 99 and a half. Knock on Wood, Eddie Floyd. All right, want me to leave the rest of mystery? Never My Love, Soul Survivors, The Mamas and the Papas. Are we done? The Beatles the again. Condition. Are these yeah. the conditions? Decent on all of them, they're asking. Um, they look good. They have some light surface scratches. These here, like this one doesn't. This one doesn't have any surface scratches. The Young Rascals. This is the Hollies. I see one scratch on it. Janice Ion. I see one little scratch on it. J and the techniques, not one scratch on it. So I think you're going to get a mix. I think you're going to get a mix. But the box is pretty amazing. It's in great condition. She kept it in great condition. I love it. I love the box. All right. Let me pull up my YouTube chat. See where we're at. I see anybody else. Susan Arrington. Hey, Susan. She's going home tomorrow. She's texted me today. Awesome, Susan. Nice. Yeah. Dad joke means in a 55. But Bonnie says they're from high school, the titles. She recognizes the titles. Hey, Franklin Hill. From the 60s when I was in high school. See, I graduated in the 80s, so I don't know a lot of those titles. That's awesome news, Susan. So thrilled. I know. Thank God, Susan. Thank you, sweet God. I'm sure your husband misses you so much. Dad's at, um, dad is at 65. That's Carl, right? Yes. Franklin Hill is out. Were they the only two that were bidding? Yes. Carl's like, yes. That was lot number one for 65. We're calling it down. Sold to Carl. $65. 
I only wrote the date about a thousand times today. It's the fifth. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already the fifth of the month. Uh, tomorrow's my mom's three year anniversary. My dad wants to go to the cemetery. How is your dad doing? Did he go for that test? He went today. Well, no, today was a consultation. They cannot do it laparoscopically. He has to be cut. It's a two and a half hour procedure. Oh. Yeah. And um, he's got some workups to do first. He has to get cleared, of course, again from the GP and from the cardiologist. And then he has to have the stent removed that he had put in to relieve the pressure from the tumor first. So he's, it's, he's about a month or month and a half out before they actually do it. All right, we're gonna do it again, you guys. This time it's the, the covers, the box is not as cool as the first one and it looks like it may have gotten some water damage, but it's solid, like there's no, there's no damage to the box. So unfortunately it's not as cool as the other one. And this one, um, I'll give you some of the titles in this one. Um, go, 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 Roy Orbison. Roger Miller, The Four Lovers, Buddy Holly, Dinah Washington is in that pocket. This pocket has Danny Lam Lamigo, Chicken Feed. This one has That's Domino. So this is probably 60s also. This one has the chips. This one has Boyd, Bennett, and the Boyd, Bennett, and the something. Boyd, Bennett, and his rockets. Sorry, couldn't see that. Um, the purple people eater. The purple pe people eater. I don't know these records. The Flying Saucer, Bachman and Goodman. Do you guys know these titles? The Platters, I know that one. So this is 60s again, I think. Uh, Bobby Vinton and A Thousand Miles Away. The Heart, the Heartbeats, Heartbreaks, Heartbeats. I don't know. 111 in the chat, Susan, thank you. Um, Jerry Dorn. Um, bear with me. Almost there. Um, Don Gibson. This one has like one record in each slot. It's not like the other one that hasn't. They have some of them have sleeves. Just pulled that sleeve off, so I'm gonna stick it back in there. Okay. Um, Renato Carasoni and the Rock and Rebels. Hey, Jules. Hey, hey Jules. Uh, is the, the condition mixed on these as well, Donna? The tornadoes. I'm looking at them like this one doesn't have a scratch on it. Okay, thank you. This one doesn't have a scratch on it. Kathy Linden. This one doesn't have a scratch on it. Rosie Mary Lumonti. Do you guys know these names? The Markets. Is this 60s again? Bonnie Louie. All right, I'm gonna stop. Kiss me quickly, the neons. Um, baby, I'll cry, the three friends. Is there anybody bidding? That's Domino. Hey, Lucinda. Hi, Lucinda. You are well, you welcome from Kentucky. Hey, Neville. Santa and the Satellites. Long time no see, Neville. Good to see you. Hi, Neville. Thanks for coming in. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to show. There's nobody. Oh, I got a $50. I didn't think anybody was bidding. Dave Siebel. 
I didn't see any bids in the chat. I thought maybe nobody wanted them. Um, Stan Fernberg. Um, I was the one Elvis Presley. All right, I'm done. The greatest moments in sports. The greatest moments in sports. I don't know. That's in there too. That's it, folks. That's what you get. Lot number two, record box. Is it going to um, Carl again? Yes, it is. Okay, Carl. Awesome. Oh, Carl, no, Franklin Hill got the first one. Carl's getting this one. Is no, Carl won the last one. Oh, Franklin Hill didn't get it? Carl got it? Carl got it. Oh, I wrote down Franklin Hill. Right, Mama G? Yes, I have Carl. Carl has it. Okay. Carl has and Carl both. also has this one. Okay, sorry. I don't know why I wrote Franklin Hill. Whoopsie. Good thing I caught that. Okay. Let me just change this slip. Let me see. Oh, I did write Carl. I'm losing it. <laughs> Always check your email. Yeah, thanks, thanks to you. I did write Carl. I wrote Carl on the actual package, but I wrote Franklin Hill on my slip. I don't know. Well, that would have really confused you later. Oh, yeah, it would have. That's why I always say it out loud so that if I yeah. do make a mistake, you guys can catch me now instead of right. you know, later on. That's why I always like to, to make it um, to make a comment. Let's do a plush lot. All right, let's do this one. Chesney put some plush lots together for me today, so I'm going to be just as surprised as you are. Okay. So you've got this cute little here. Let me just swing my chair around a minute. This is going to be a lot, and then I am going to do some one-offs as well. Okay, so this one is adorable. It's a, it's a mama bear one. It's a Fiesta kangaroo. It's really well made. And I sold one of these in a lot before, and it was missing the baby. This one has the baby in the pouch, which is adorable. This is going to be a $25 start. Here is Mickey Easter. This one is Creature Comfort. Halifax... Cytadel, I have no idea what this is. Halifax Cytadel, so don't know. This one is USA. I would put like citizenship, child citizenship, something like that in the title. Anybody looking for a gift, this would be an adorable gift for a child who just got their US citizenship. This one is, um, my eyes look, re my eyes are like really blurry tonight. I'm going to go put on my glasses. Um, I don't know. It looks like it could be, oh, it says Toys R Us. I don't know if that's Jeffrey. Jeffrey, or Toys yeah. R Us, Jeffrey. Is it Jeffrey? Yeah. It doesn't look like Jeffrey. But he's in excellent condition. He's um he's not a furry plush. He's like a like a velvety one, you know, like a soft like velvety. And here's this one will probably sell right away to you guys because this one, this is a Fisher Price, and it's a baby poo. And you know, babies get these when they're born, and then they carry them around, and they get really rotten. And the parents look for to replace them because they've washed them so many times. So that is one of those toys that I always say someone's looking for this. You know, that is one of those toys. 
the, the baby toys always used to sell really well for me because the parents, they were afraid that if they lost it, like, cause the kids get used to sleeping with them. And yep. we had a white lammy. I had to buy three of them for one See? grandchild. Yeah. Because the parents get afraid because if the lammy disappears, she's not going to yep. be able to go to sleep. So yep. the parents look for them and you know, they're discontinued. So like this one here, this is, this is just called Teddy. That's the name of the company. But it's it's really well made. It's it's absolutely beautiful, and you know probably somebody got him as a gift. And you know people hear stories all the time. Oh, it was lost in a fire or something. This one's um it's an NFL. It's KS. The back of it is worn. What is what is what is that Knights or something? I don't know what team this is. Kansas City. Kansas City uh, Royals. It's a baseball team. Okay, so. Oh, actually, wait, man, it could be the Chiefs. I didn't really look too close at the logo, but. Um, Dad jokes wants to know if the what does the tag say anything on the giraffe? It says uh, Toys R Us. It says Toys R Us. Okay. And a whole bunch of other stuff, but I'd have to go put on my glasses to go see it. Um, Get the Donna loop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll put it when I put it back in the bag. I'll get the Donna loop. Here's an animated one. Let's see if it works. That's cute. <laughs> Oh, it's nice. I got to turn it off. I'll get demonetized. That is so cute with the wiggly ears. Oh, it's a Hallmark. Ding, 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 ding. Hallmark, you guys. Hallmark. Is Hallmark. Huh? It has the tag still? Yeah, still has the tag. Hallmark is Bolo, you guys. Anytime you see my Hallmark, pick it up. Hallmark has a great following. Kimmy, hello, Kimberly, borderline hoarderish, and this has a great following too. You guys, Gund. Hi, Kimberly. This is, a, this is an adorable Gund bear. Excellent condition. Excellent. Um. Okay, we're not done. This one has a little marker on it, but it will come off. Magic eraser. It's a goat. It's a goat. Oh, it's from Despicable Me. Wait, something else that was from Despicable Me. Um, it's cute. It's like a little goat. It's got, it must be, in the movie, it must have a broken horn. Look, it only has a half a horn. But it's, it's in excellent condition, except for that marker. And I swear it wasn't me. I know I've always got my marker in my hand, and I'm like showing stuff. I didn't do it. It was there. So, but it will come out. Here is a really awesome, it's called Lot Fancy Toys. Put Labrador Retriever in, in the uh, title and this will, yeah, oh, it does have a broken horn. Okay. Labrador Retriever. People love buying plush that looks like their dogs. And this one, you could definitely put in the title, Realistic. Because, I mean, doesn't that look real? He looks so real. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got a realistic uh, face altogether. Yep, it's awesome. I had a, um, a funeral home. I know I've mentioned it before, but I had a funeral home that bought plush from me. They must have suggested to the people that family, if that person had a dog, they it was a cat, actually. Um, this one's called Noble, and he's adorable. I don't know what his deal is. You have to look him up. Um, buried uh, the person that died with a cat that probably looked like the cat they had. Um, Coles Cares Kids, and it's Snoopy. Everybody loves Snoopy. I don't think so, Dad's joke. Huh? Will you throw in Patrick too behind you? Sure. Um, this is called Brown Dog. That's the name on the tag. And he's brown, but he's got sparkles all over him. And 
Patrick is going to go in there too. So we love Patrick in this house. I call my husband Patrick and he calls me Squidward. <laughs> it's the truth. Okay, so you get one, two, and they're all beautiful and clean. That's three. And this one I love. This one's beautiful. Three. That's four. That's five. That's six. This one, we'll play it one more time. The quality of the sound is really good on that, don't you think? All right, I've lost count, but it's a big trash bag full. I lost count when, okay. I think, was it Carl wanted to know what was on this tag? It says, made in China, distributed by Toys R Us. And let's see on the back side. It has a registration number. It has the, what's in, in the, the um, contents, and then on this little tag, it says Toys R Us manufactured. It doesn't say anything special. It just has manufacturer's numbers on it. And don't forget about this one. This will probably be the first one you sell. It's really nice. And this one, I love this one too, the USA Bear. It's adorable. Make sure you put citizenship. You got to get creative with your titles, you guys. I used to get creative with my titles all the time. You know, try to think outside of the box when you're doing your listings. Different than like what other people write. So that um, it stands out and when people search certain keywords, it will come up. Not just on eBay, but even on the internet. So it's all part of the game to be have a successful, you know, eBay stores. It's, you know, it's good to do that. All right. Plush lot. That's an awesome plush lot. Yay to Chessy. Whoop, whoop. Three cheers to Chess. She did a good job. She's so good at putting plush lots together. We have Joy at 70. We're waiting to see what Susie DeChamps and Azalea think. Dawn wants to drop a link for music. Sure, but you mean to play music like while we're having the auction? Is that what you mean? Like I can open it up in another tab? Hmm. Did he? Did you find like a royalty-free music site or something? That's interesting. Oh, Massimo, that smells so good. My son's making um, spaghetti sauce. No, to keep. Oh, to keep from my lava lamp show? Azalea is out. Dad's uh, is up. Dad is out. Joy is at 80. Prayers for Craig. Is Craig not feeling good? I didn't see. Hi, Mary Pelletier. Thanks for coming in. Azalea J Sage, thank you. Dawn. You guys, all of you that I missed, Susie, thanks for coming in, sweetheart. Jade Moon. I don't see where Craig wrote something. Oh, hey, guys, I think I might be going to the ER. I'm so itchy right now that I've scratched so much that I'm bleeding because of the itchiness. Oh, no. I wonder if that's... I uh -oh. wonder if that's the source isn't on the floor. No, that was something going into the... Starts with... Hey boy. I wonder if that's uh, like a uh, Is it royalty free? <laughs> he said no. Oh, he said no. All right, I'm going to close it then. Oh, and I closed my chat. I got to go find my chat. Congrats, Joy. Thank you, Joy. Oops. 
Tracy, you ready when we keep going? Yeah, I'm ready whenever you want. All right, I'm ready. I'm putting you on. You can do that. It's all good. It's all good. You don't look like you're ready. I'm ready. Are you? I'm ready. Oh, okay. There you are. Awesome. What you got there? Guns and Roses. That's an awesome poster. It is from 1988. It was rolled, so unfortunately you'll have to flatten it a little bit. But You guys, um, Dominic, um, Primetime Treasure Hunter, has a great video. Dominic, are you still in here? You can drop it if you want and how he uh, photographs his posters to get them ready for eBay. Did you say 88? 1988, yes. 1988. That's an awesome poster. Well, you guys remember? 30, 32 years old. Remember they used to sell the posters like in Woolworths for like 99 cents, the boxes of rolled up posters. You could flip through the things and pick out. No, like, I went to Spencer's wanted. Gifts for my posters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They still have a Spencer's gifts down here. They Some still have one in our mall, too. I haven't been to one in a while. Someone told me to go there for lava lamps. Yeah, they probably do have lava lamps. They always I, did. I, there's, you know what, you guys? I, I've come to realize there's a difference between, like, really nice lava lamps, like this one that Christopher Chatworth bought me, and then, like, the ones that I paid, like, $20 for. They just yeah. don't. They just don't perform like, oh my gosh, like this one, this real deal one that I got from Christopher. I think for tonight's lava show, I'm going to put this one up because this one is just amazing. Little Martin's Nest is in at 30. Donna, you can wrench, wrench Ozma for me. Hey, Ozma. I talked to Ozma yesterday. She's an absolute sweetheart. We have Connie Johnson in for 35, Little Martin's Nest at 37. That's awesome. Massimo, come look at this poster. Come see it. She's selling it. We're not bidding on it, but just come look at it. Show Massimo. Hold it up. Yes, yes, flipping hot finds. Yes, it's a Guns N' Roses poster. 1988. I'm not on the screen, so they can't see you. Buy it. No. Isn't that isn't that great? Yeah, buy it. No. He's got my son's got long hair like the guy in the background there. Flash Flash, the guitarist for yeah. that band was one of my idols when I was younger. Really? Yeah, Slash. I don't know which one Slash is. Slash is the one with long black hair. With the long black hair? With the yeah. leather jacket? <laughs> Little Martin's Nest is in at 44. Right, Michael Whalen? <laughs> with the hat. Oh, oh with the hat. Oh, the guy with the, the hat. With the hat. Oh, this guy. Oh, someone's saying, Ozma is saying the one that's seated. Massimo yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what Massimo said. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, in the middle. You don't even see him. Look, hold it up. I didn't even see him. He's got a hat and he's seated. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> I didn't even see him. That's the one he was talking about. Yes, that's it. That's him. Isn't that funny? I never even noticed him. With the giant top hat, you didn't know? Yes, yes. No, <laughs> I didn't even see that there was a, I, th I thought it was part of, I don't know. I just didn't see him. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't uh, are Connie and Little Martin's Nest the only two people bidding? Yes. yes. Okay, we're going to stop it there, Connie. And Little Martin's Nest, if you both want them, I'm going to roll it back to $50. I have two of them. Oh, cool. All Good right, so you're both winners. Good for you. That's awesome. They were the only two bidding, right? Yep. Okay. 
All right, so we'll sell one to Connie Johnson and one to Little Martin's Nest, each at $50. Yeah, that's awesome, T. You're cool. Oh, I didn't write down. All right, I'll look. Mama G, I didn't write down the plush lot. <laughs> it went to Joy, right? I'll look in the chat, in the private chat. Yes, yes it went to Joy. Donna, are you okay tonight? No, For I'm not. For I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I swear I'm not drinking, you guys. I didn't, I know, I didn't even write it down, none of it. And Mama G, there truly was nobody else no. uh, bidding, right? No. Okay. Since Connie was the highest bidder, I have actually one more. Connie, I don't know, maybe because of, you know, your your music circle that you would need a second <laughs> If you do, let me know. You'll be the first to, that I will offer it to. Then I'll order a, ask if Little Martin's Nest wants a second one. And if neither of them want, then I will take uh, somebody from the chat if they're interested. Because I had three posters in total. The last one that you would take would be Flippin' Hot Finds came in for 29 Okay. So if you want one for 50 if Connie doesn't, that would be the next person. Okay. So we're calling lot two is going to Little Martin's Nest. Mm -hmm. And I'm waiting to see if Connie wants the third. Yes. So there is a third poster, Connie, if you want it. Okay. All right. Fine. And then... um. Flippin' Hot Finds or Little Martin's Nest will go next. If they want a second one, just let me know. And if not, we'll give it to somebody in the chat if they want it. Yes, you want you want another one, Little Martin's Nest? That would be two, $100. Is that yes? We're good? Let me know. Okay, Flippin' Hot Finds. Ah, awesome. Thank you, Don, for doing the research. It's awesome. All right. Well, while we we're working on that one, let me show my next one. Okay, just one for Little Martin's Nest. All right. Ooh, that under a black light. Oh, it's a black light, light poster. It is a black light Whoa. poster. It is from 1970. I'll give you the let me give you the year first because it's been rolled up for a while. It's got some edging issues too. It is 1978 H. Kang and Company Inc. 53 Fourth Avenue, Mount Vernon, New York, with a phone number. And as if you guys can see, we do have a little bit of on the edge. I want you guys all to see that so you know. And then there is um, a small tear. This is called Battle to the Death. T, that's the same poster that I have, 3rd Avenue, New York. Oh, you're kidding. No. Oh, God, I cannot. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. And can I tell you how much it was? That Eight. one's huge compared to the one you have too, Donna. It's uh, no, I would say it's about the same size. Oh, okay. It was eighty dollars, but this one's framed. Okay, so I am going to tell you guys here. See, see the issue here on this one. It's at the top, just so you guys know. So if you frame it, you're going to have to really just make sure you get keep that together. I mean, there's nothing missing, but you do have the tear. And I don't know. It feels like it's been rolled up since 1970. <laughs> yeah, I would be so careful with that. Yeah, that's why I hate to keep unrolling it. But I know it's hard. It's hard not to show it. 
What do you want to start this one at, T? Whatever. Let them start bidding. I don't, did we start the last one at a specific price, or were they just bidding? <laughs> Let's start I think it they just start. I'm good. I'm good. Let's start it at 10 bucks. See where it goes. It's all filthy. So yeah, just so you guys know the way the edging is on the one side. It's not torn on that side. Like, I mean, there's a little bit of tears, but not on the actual poster. The only issue here is at, at the top of it. And quite honestly, that if you were to frame it, you probably could really make that very um, incognito, so to speak. You could definitely cover it, that is up. Is it fuzzy tea? Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, 100%. Fuzzy. That is so awesome. Got Wendy Luxie at 15, Picky Nikki right. at 20. And this is what the bottom says Battle to the Death. And if you guys want to see the actual, um, I don't know if you can see it, I'll, I'll get the loop. That'll be easier. Perfect. Hey, Wendy. Wendy's in for 35. Right, Shelly? Yeah. KJ, in the corner. You're late. <laughs> it's all good. Hope all is well. Hope you did well today. Hope everything went well. All right, Nikki came in for 44. And this the, the these are all these posters will be sent in poster tubes. So no worries. They will be in tubes. Snowy Sue, <laughs> welcome. Have I put Brian in the corner yet so you have somebody to play with? We haven't seen Brian yet tonight. Can I take the bid? Um, is she re did she register? I don't know. I'll have to check. All right. We'll take the bid until we check on registration. Moni Love is here. Moni Love's in for 55 Hello, Miss Martha. What's up? Okay, thank you, Snowy Sue. 
appreciate it. That's why we always ask you guys to register as soon as you can, because in case you see something that you want, we don't have to hold up the bidding. Thank you for registering. And when Donna comes back, we'll get you wrenched. I have it. All right, awesome. I was looking to. <laughs> Thank you, Casual Flipper. How are you tonight? Thanks for coming in. Ah, good, Connie. Yeah, I bought a bunch of tubes because I have a lot more posters. I have a lot more posters, concert tees, um, concert stuff, too, that I'll bring over the next few auctions. Moni loves Concert t-shirts? Yeah, I have concert t-shirts, yeah. I don't know what I'll bring tonight. I think I have some Def Leppard somewhere. They're newer. They're not vintage. They're not like single stitch or anything, but they're authentic. Okay. Maybe on my next go around. Virginia, that's the poster that I'm selling. It's a black light poster. Donna, we need a wrench, honey. I did it. Oh, okay. Thank you. I could hear you. I'm I'm just You're eating your spaghetti. I know what you're doing. No, I'm not <laughs> actually. I just took some um just some Advil. Hey morning. Uh, Hey, Miss Martha. Welcome in. Yes, I will bring a. I will bring a lot of Tupperware. Yes, Richard, I have it. And I don't know if it's what you want, but I did bring a box of Tupperware up, so I will bring it. All right, we're sold to Moni Love for fifty-five. Thank you, Moni Love. I found some Tupperware knives for Richard. Did you? No, I'm lying. It's <laughs> Snowy, <laughs> Snowy Sue just came in at 60. You guys take a moment. Go on top chat. Please refresh. Make sure you're on live chat, not top chat. <clears throat> All right, Neville, you too. Good to see you, honey. Take care, Neville. Yeah, because of the lag, too, guys. Um, Sorry, Snowy Sue. Did we get an L from Snowy Sue? No, because they bid the 50 when we were registered. Then Moni Love bid, and I called anybody else, and then I called once, then twice, then sold. Okay. All right. No, Moni Love, I'm not selling my poster. I paid way too much money for it. And I want right, to feel money. better, honey. The whole time you were on top chat. Yeah. Double check that double check that for sure. All right. Let's do some comics. All right, Craig. I'm sorry. Let us yeah. Refresh, refresh snowy. Sometimes it's just, All right, this one here is kind of, I'm just going to throw this one in. I had a bunch of these. These these are just readable copies. They're not any, um, they're, they're not, a, this, this particular issue, for whatever reason, all of them have this um, ripple effect to it. So I'm just throwing this in as a read or pass on to children. We you call those ribbed? Yeah. Strangers number seven. Cat. Woman number six, the snake number one, shadow number 23, shadow man, I should say, ghost rider number 34, not sure, number seven. <laughs> Pit number one, Deadpool, I 
guess three. I'm not sure. Casual flipper comes in. Deadpool, the circle chase, piece of the pie, taste of the prize. And that's number four. Pit number three. Guy, a gardener reborn. Number one. Brigade, number zero. Jim Lee's Death Blow, number two. 20 vintage memories. Uh, maybe 21. Actually, I don't know. No, don't. I'm not sure on this one. I'm, actually, I'm not sure. I'll count them as soon as I'm finished. Um, X, number one. Rip Claw Special. Crisis on infamous, infamous Earths, number seven. Pit, I don't know if that means number half or number one, two. <laughs> and this one, the, these two look like they both have a number one on them, so I don't know what they maybe were some kind of special series or something like that on these two spawn. Justice Society of America, number one. Oh, this is another spawn, number one. Are they? Oh, these two are the same. So these two are the same. They both have number one at the top. So does this one. So I'm not sure what the story is with that. But I'm sure you comic folks do. And then Silver Sable and the Wild Pack. And that one is issue one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, Carla. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a thick one. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, and well, it's 22 with a gift because I wouldn't, I would consider this like a, you know, just a reading copy. This is nothing, um, you know, you're going to get graded or anything like that for sure, just with the ridges in it. So technically 23, but 22 possibly as far as can i see the spawn number one again up close any of them that you have okay i've got josh at 36 donna if you hear me can you read the chat and look at carla's messages to you or i can put them in the private chat okay so there's three copies of this one spawn and there's two different um, covers. So there's two of the same of this. And then the one different cover is this one. And I heard, I saw somebody put in the chat um, something about variant covers, I guess.
Kyle says spawn number ones are all 1994 Todd toys version. Okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> I'm glad he knows. <laughs> I don't know. We have flipping hot finds at 40. Vintage memories at 42. Carl, is that what you needed to see? Are we good, Carl? Oh, really, Carl? Got it, Frank. I've got vintage memories at 42. Casual's out. Josh is out. And I'm waiting to see if Flippin' Hot Finds is out or bidding again. Okay, let us know, Flippin' Hot Finds. They're out. All right, we're going to sell, sell it to vintage memories. Thank you, Vintage Memories 42. All right, Donna, honey, you're up. Uh, Tisha, one more. Okay. Donna, did you see the question in the private chat from Carla? No, but I'll look. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm going to do a mixed sports lot. Um, uh, Carla, I didn't get a text from you. Let me put my phone number in. Maybe she's texting the wrong number. All right. This is what we're going to do on this one. Okay. All right. First thing up is this Radic Martinique number four. Looks like it's a signs card or photo. I don't know. No, it's a card. It feels like card stock. You're welcome, Vintage Memories. Then there are the Super Size WF stickers. We got a pack of Don Mattingly postcards and a pack of Derek Jeter postcards. We got this Los Angeles Rams official 1963 yearbook. This one's, this one, the next one is a little rough. Um, it's a Yankees Dodgers World Series 1952 book. I'm not even going to attempt to open it. It's going to just go right into whatever I'm shipping it in. Probably go into a bag first by itself um, just because of the condition that it's in. This is the March 21st, 1969 official 43rd annual Golden Glove Finals now, this book for, for the year is really an awesome condition, <laughs> considering. Then we have this folder, Old Timer Series. And inside the folder, it has um, what looks to be the 1989... Uh, equitable old timers game Mets fan souvenir. And then we have the Shea stadium. I guess it's the wolf stars and the old timers who played. There is besides that on that side is also 
I guess, a whole list of the players and their careers. And again, it's it's got multi pages. Oh, my, maybe not multi pages. Maybe there's oh, there's actually three sheets. One, two. Oh, and then something about the 1969 Miracle Mets in there. So that's on the one side. And then on the other side of the folder, looks like these were probably some kind of hand. They were probably the handouts at the time. And there's one, two, three, four, five of them. Um, can I interrupt you for a second? Sure. Carla, I found, um, I found the invoice. It was canceled. So it was for the $50 Dibble box. It was canceled. So text me, let me know. <clears throat> um, I don't have a text from you. Let me know what you want me to do with that. I don't have a text here, but I did find an email with the, I invoiced you and I, I don't know, I, I, I canceled it. So, hey, fat man, the flipper. Hey, Alex. Hi, honey. Welcome in. And then there, again, are just some, some more newspaper clippings and some other stuff in the folder. Just a bunch of sports things. In there. So that's that folder. Then we have one of these numbered cards, number 9146 of 47,000, 46 annual old timers day, upper deck Yankees. Going to throw in a two sided sheet of baseball cards. Another two-sided sheet of cards. Then I have this upper deck, again, numbered 4427-1992, upper deck. New York Knicks first round selection. The Upper Deck Company salutes NBA draft picks June 24th, 1992. And those are your players. And there's a couple of, I'll actually fill in the blank here on the basketball cards. I'll make sure we put another one on there. Hi, Trisha. Welcome in. Hey, Trish. We got these. Before you close the lot out, I need to see the wrestling stickers again, T. Okay, sure. And this is another upper deck. This is football. Five, five, four, two. Wow, Dave Jackson. That's awesome. He said he just sold a fo football card for 10000 too bad it wasn't mine, but he did get a commission for selling it. Awesome, Dave. Nice. Awesome. Good job. Did you sell that on eBay? Way to go. <clears throat> That's phenomenal. Okay, and I'm going to throw two football cards in with this. One is going to be a Brett Farb. And one is going to be a Troy Aikman. I'm going to throw two hockey cards in with this. One is going to be Owen Nolan. And the other one is going to be Sylvain Turgeon.
and you will get a choice again of the um, either book or I do have a, a, a hockey one. I meant to bring it up. I keep forgetting to. I have another. It's a, it's a booklet. It's more of a booklet, but it's a hockey one. If if I have some people who are more into the hockey than into um, the baseball books. So you got that one. Did you show the cards again? Or the oh, stickers the again? stickers. The stickers. Yes, I'll show the stickers again. That's the signs, Radic Mart Mart Martinique. And again, the hockey. The football. Basketball. And I will put a basketball. Will absolutely, actually, I will definitely, and probably be. It'll be a Carl Malone card. It will be a Carl Malone card. You know why? Because I have one here. That's why. <laughs> hey, Chris the Goose. It'll be that card. I'll put that one in there. Okay. Now it's complete. Now it's complete. And the upper deck. Goose is in the chat. Yep. Can I explain something real quick, T? Sure, honey. Um, I know that we only had two people bidding, but she wasn't finished showing the lot. So that's why I will say, is there anybody else? Instead of just calling it sold at that point, guys. What is Shelly saying? Shelly. She's flirting with them. Be nice. Carol Ann, where were you last night during Lava Lamp Live? Donna, are you getting Carla's text right now? She says. Um, and then this whole folder of. Oh, Carl Malone. Oh. Uh, Okay. Oh, okay, Carla. Um, the only thing I may not have, but I do have a local place that I can go pick them up, is um, the incense. I think I have everything else but the incense. I'll, I'll put you down for one, honey. Thank you so much. Yeah, for those of you that don't know um, my PayPal, I have two PayPal. One comes in as the give. <clears throat> which was my original, that was the name of my thrift shop. It was called The Give. And I have that email. I've had that email for eight years, that um, PayPal. 
and the other one come the one the other one comes in as auctions by Donna. So yeah, she didn't realize the give was me. <clears throat> and I use both emails. So thank you, Carla. Thank you so much. Chessie's going to be helping me finish up the Dibble boxes tomorrow, Chesy and Angelina. So those of you that haven't received your Dibble boxes yet or your clothing lots, I should be able to get them out tomorrow because I'll have my two daughters um, helping me tomorrow. I, I've never been this far behind. I told T, like I'm usually like, for those of you that have been my longtime customers, I mean, I usually ship the stuff out before you guys even pay. T yells at me for that all the time. Yeah, and, and guys, um, yeah, I mean, mine comes in as sometimes my great find for you. And how should you know? I mean, if you get an invoice and it says a dibble box, $50, <laughs> I guess that's how you know. <laughs> All right, we're sold to call for 55 Are you ready, Donna? Yeah, I was just building more lots. All right. <laughs> Let me put this away and show something and I'll finish. The oh, thing. and um, who won that call? Just let me know. Do you want um, the Subway series, the Ichiro, or do you want the hockey magazine? Um, it's a Stanley Cup. I forgot. Are you the hockey person? You reach a row. I can't say that word. You're so good at saying it. You reach a go. Ichiro. Ichiro. You reach a row. Ichiro. Each a row. Each a row. No, just each a row. Just each a row. Each a row. Okay. My lot number four is going to be a $50 dibble box. Okay. Uh, Mama G, lot number four for um, um, for Carla Zana. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry. My husband's yelling. Donna thought PayPal was the Give 11 treasure finder. Yes, it's it's the Give 11. Yep, it is. And it's also um, auctions by Donna or DBotGo. I have two of them connected to the second one. Yeah, Andrea, yours has tracking on it. <laughs> Hi, Bettina. I think you're going to be happy. But you let me know. <laughs> I sent it out today. Okay. Um, let's do this is a, it's a jewelry jar filled with some vintage, some watches. It's just a huge amount. I just filled it. You guys just filled it uncurated. You guys, this is, uh, some is matched. Some are on vintage cards some are not matched it's just an assortment of all kinds of stuff t do you still have the subway series yes that's what carl would like got it thank you carl is mine just dibble or the lot i won a long time ago i don't know carla i'll have to look we'll have to look <laughs> Carl. <laughs> What's Carl saying? Some people can't distinguish between, I don't know that word. Etymology and entomology. They bug me in ways I can't put in words. I can't, I can't put, I can't do those words. Right. Well, one of them is the study of bugs that one of those words. So it's a joke. Is this all earrings, Donna? Nope. It's earrings. It's watches. It's uh, necklaces. It's just a big, just dibble lot of jewelry is what it is. Yes, Carla, at least you do have a line of communication. I put my phone number in the chat all the time. <clears throat> I wasn't getting your messages. What's your start for this? Um, $25. 
$25 start. All right, Nora A is in a 35. Hey, Peaches. Hi, Peaches. Hey, Deborah Reed. $40 from Deborah Reed. $45 from Nora. $50 now from Autumn Grace. Fifty-five from Nora. Autumn comes in for 60. Nora now at 65. Deborah Reed is out. Let's look at some stuff. So like I said, summer, summer vintage. Oh, these are so cool. These are so 80s. I love those. Those are so 80s. I love the fact that they're all carded in, in the little baggies already. They're not. They're definitely not. This is just some of the stuff that I'm pulling out. So there's just a just a collection. Some of them are. But there's a lot that's not. Idea what that is. Annie, I still have your dolls. They're just at 20 though, so that's why I was holding on to them. All right, Miss Moth is at 80 now. Oh my gosh. I think my mother had one of these. What is it? I'm almost positive she did. Oh my God, so did my mother. I had I I, bad one of these. Yes, my mother too. It's a charm bracelet, yes. I think my mother's was gold. My mother's was too. Oh, they're gold? 
It's stamped with something. I can't read it. Oh my gosh. I can't read it, you guys. Oh wait, let me try this one. Yeah, that'll that'll work. Put that up to the camera. Andrea, um, I need to replace the the light in the um the loop that you bought me. If you will you order it for me since you know what it is and I'll pay you back for it. So I don't have to go looking for it. You might have it in your thing. I can't read it. It's so tiny. I don't know what it says. Uh, yeah, it is really tiny. It's tiny. I don't know what it says. Yeah. I can't read it. But she did. She no, had my mom too. And it has the little um safety latch. This might be your home run, you guys. I don't know. I'm just saying. Moth is in for a Benji. Woo -woo. <clears throat> it's uncurated. It is uncurated. I just threw a bunch of stuff in. Right, Ten Bennett. <laughs> what? Ten Bennett's like, maybe one of the kids can read it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Mine went out too. I can probably just order a new one easier than the batteries. All right, Andrea, it's really awesome. I I I love it. If you could order me one, I I'll send you the money right away for yeah, it. Yeah, Elsie says use your cell phone camera and zoom in. That's what I do with mine sometimes when it's really small. It's so small. Well, let's just let's just be surprised. But if it is gold, right, it's going to go for that much more. I don't even know what happened to it. It's in here somewhere. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let it, whoever gets it, if it's a home run, it's it's a home run. Believable blessings. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to Silver. Thank you. Appreciate it. And on that note, we're sold. From okay. Miss Autumn Grace for $100. Oh, Autumn Grace. Awesome, Miss Martha. Thank you. Nice score, Miss Martha. I hope it's gold, honey. I really, really do for you. Awesome. I hope you make lots of money with that. Hi, Annie. Isn't that funny? That reminded me of How you doing, Annie, honey? If we have so much in common, right, T, with our parents, my oh, dad, I know. both of our dads went into photography, both our moms bold. It's really unbelievable. All right, how about some country albums, you guys? Um, Hank Williams Jr., Eleven Roses, The Last Picture Show, Hank Williams, Conway Twitty. I don't know who that is. Kenny Rogers and Dottie West. Lynn Anderson. A hundred years of great Christmas classics. I don't know how that snuck in there. Lynn Anderson. Look at how beautiful she is. Yeah. She, look at her teeth. She's beautiful. Um, Buddy and Bunny Burden. At the organ. Oh, this must be organ music. I love organ music. Trunk and country. That's an and awesome picture. Mrs. Anonymous is in for 30. That's an awesome picture. This one is Jeannie C. Riley. Uh, Ray Price. This is uh, Farron. I don't know. Memorable country music. Backstreet Affair. Not to be confused with Backstreet Boys. Dixieland Jazz. That's I don't think you can confuse those two. 
The American Tour with Ed Rudy. Rush Radio. I don't know, you guys. I'm sorry. Italian Super Hits. Mandolins in Italy. Sorry, you guys. This is a mixed lot. The all-time great polkas. Yeah, this is just a mixed lot. I thought it was all country. Polka variety. Some guitarist. And that one. Um... I don't know if I should try to make it all country. Weird Al Yankovic's dad. Did she see him? Okay, Jules. See ya. Um, Mrs. Anonymous, if you're not interested in this lot because it's not all country, I understand. I can try to put all country together. For you. Tom Cruise. He wants to see the Ed Ruby. Ed Ruby. What did it have on the cover? Price, Country, Backstreet Affair, Waldorf. Okay, I'll hold them up. You let me know which one it is. Let me know if you guys see Ed Ruby. Conway Twitty, Lynn Anderson, Lynn Anderson again. Ed Rudy, Ed Rudy. That's no, not it. The only album I don't want. Oh, isn't that funny? Ray Price. That's Farron. Susan said white with red writing on it. There it is. There it is. How you doing, Tom? Want me to check the condition, Tom? Kathy's name is on it. She loved her records. That side looks good. That side looks good. Doesn't appear to have any scratches on it. And the cover is in good condition. I think, is that supposed to be there? Yeah, I think that's supposed to be there. Tom's in for 40. Yeah, that's supposed to be there. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Mrs. Anonymous. Oh, solo mio. What's on the other side, Donna? I think the title of the album. Or the song? What do you mean? I don't know. On I don't know. On the side? I don't know what he means. Shelly's saying, Carl, I'm sorry. Shelly, you got to save that for Lava Lamp Live. <laughs> <laughs> no songs. They are interviews. Oh, they are? The American Tour with Ed Ruby. Radio Repulse News. Rush Radio News Discs. Oh, 
here in person interviews, radio pursuit. Mrs. Anonymous is at 55. And Tom Cruise is out. Oh, did they? How cool. Okay, so this is records. And it's going to Mrs. A. Oh, Connie Johnson comes in at 60. Look at Connie Johnson sneaking in. Now, here's the question. Does Connie want that album or does Connie want something to trade Tom Cruise for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if the Beatles was on there, it's a three-digit album. Ooh, I learned so much at the auction. Right? Can I see the Hank Williams album? Sure. Let me know when I get to it. Did I pass it? Where is it? Oh, I already passed it. Oh, sorry. The first one, Donna. Yeah, you it just works. passed it again. <laughs> this one? Yes. Hank Williams. It has the plastic on it. Clean as a whistle. Hi, Ed. Carl. Hey, Ed Jafrida. Sixty-five to Mrs. Anonymous. How many total albums? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 in the slot. You had a big polka scene around here. I had a guy named Jolly Joe who did a polka radio show for decades and they hosted polka nights at local strip mall and just live polka for hours. Fun. Oh, Annie, your screen went black? How come? Uh-oh, Bolo Buddies is back. Why is she calling Ed Edison? What? Why is she calling Ed Edison? At Edison of Frida. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's an Edison in the chat, and, it, and she tagged, it got tagged that way. I've never heard of an Edison. Connie's in for 70. Picky Nikki. Look at that hair. You think that's all her hair? No, it's probably a wig on the top when they used to wear it like really big on the top like that. Auto correct. Yeah, probably. All right, we've got Connie at 70. What do you think, Mrs. Anonymous? Yes. I could do that. New England Fish. Welcome in. We haven't seen you in a very long time. Good to see you. Thanks no, you don't need to do anything else. I have your registration. Just need Donna to rent you. 
Ed's in for 81. 81. Mrs. Anonymous is going, darn it. <laughs> Wonder Woman, Connie Johnson is out. <laughs> She's like, oh, Ed. Thank you, Connie, for bidding. 21 records. That's still a really good price. Here's something to read you guys while they decide. When I first met Lynn Anderson, I found out she was a very nice person. She's not one of those nice little old ladies that I go around giving apples to. Children. But she makes contributions to the whole world by recording her records. I don't know that she records average. I can't read it. I can't hold it up and read it. T, you read it. Where did you leave off? When? Average everyday songs. Her songs have one of her records that don't. Paper and I listen to a songs. Paper and listen to a song. Read the news. That's what it says. Read the newspaper. Congrats, Ed. Ed, you're free to want it for eighty-one dollars. Ed G. Ed G. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, everyone, for coming in and spending your Friday night with us. All right, let's see. Ed G won lot number six for $81, and it is records. He said give Mrs. A the Hank Williams. Oh. Awesome. Okay, let me pull it out right now. This one she wants. Right? All right, let me get, tag this one, Mrs. A. Thank you, Ed. That's so sweet of you. Yes, he's sure. He's very generous like that. Thank you, Ed. It's very kind of you. Okay, let me put these away, and I will be right back. Okay, you guys want to see a little ephemera or a Disney plush lot? You pick. What do you think? I have a nice ephemera lot. I also have a really great Disney plush lot. Oh, my headache's gone. Thank goodness. I took a couple of Advil and it went away. Annie wants to see the plush. Okay. I think she said that everything in here is Disney. This one is not Disney. Despicable Me, Universal Studios. And it's a big unicorn. And this one is, oh, uh, it's got a boo-boo. This is going to go in a dog lot. So that's going to go in a dog lot. That's no good. This one's good. This one has a sound box in it. Disney. Um, it's not working. Let's see if I can turn it on. What do you want to start this slot at? I don't know what to squeeze. 
<laughs> That's Disney. Oh, is it Carla? Universal. Oh yeah, Universal is Disney, right? Well, is it? Not really, is it? No. And then this one. Um, I've sold this before, but I don't know what movie it's from. But it is Disney, and it's in excellent condition. So there's that one. And this looks like Sully's colors, but it's not Sully. Who is this? I have no idea who this is. Despicable Me is Disney. Anybody know what this round one is? I have no idea, but it does say Disney on it. And here's a little Disney piglet with the Disney tag on it. And finally, we have Nemo with the Disney tag on it. And there he is in all his glory. To want to be Sully. I know, right? It looks like Sully. It's got the dots like Sully. Is it Sully after he ate a big meal? It is it is Disney. I have no idea. I I have no idea what this yeah, it is. Looks like, it looks like uh, Sully went to um, like the chocolate uh, Willy Wonka and had one of those things that the blueberry girl ate. <laughs> Has anybody ever seen one of these? I have no idea. Oh, is there a baby Sully? Sully had a baby? I didn't know that. <laughs> Sully with water retention. Right? Really? Have you ever seen this? It's a um, wannabe Sully. <laughs> all the Disney movies. It looks like Sully, but it's a big fat Sully. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. Might and just be a knockoff from it. It's not. It's just Disney. Mm, I don't know. Maybe from a cartoon of it. It says Disney. They wouldn't. It wouldn't have. Yeah, there's a Disneyland, Walt Disney World. Watch. It's probably super rare. Are you guys looking it up? Now we're starting rumors. You started it, Susan. <laughs> you started Sully it. Sully had a baby. <laughs> Does it have any RN numbers on the back of that tag? You gonna look it up? Yep. Blowfish Sully. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've never seen it. It's probably a bolo. Richard. <laughs> um let's see. It says Lake. That's Lake right, Chris. Chris said someone is looking for that. <laughs> it says US 309 JG. It does not have an RN number. It has, it has Disney's address on it. All new material. Disney Disney theme park merchandise. That's all it says. Nobody can find them. I'm so curious. KJ, are you are you lagging? Okay, Sully with an allergic reaction. Right, Sully needs an epi. <laughs> it's so funny. I think they made a baby line of like all major Disney characters, just like them cute, I guess. Lisa figured it out. What did Lisa say? Okay, from Google. Disney Monsters, Inc. Sully plush stuffed round toy Disneyland Resort ball. Oh, it's a ball. It's not. Re I mean, I don't think it's a ball. It's got a big long tail on it. This is so eat shellfish. shellfish. <laughs> yeah, because that's what happens to me when I eat shellfish. <laughs> okay, does anybody want to bid on this slot or not? <laughs> <laughs> After all this. Oh, it's a resort ball, Lisa. I don't think it has anything to do with Sully. So Sully. So, so, yeah. <laughs> All 
All right, let's pass on it. Let's pass on the Disney lot. Oh. Oh, he does talk. I don't know. Oh, you have to push that button for it to talk. Wars. Okay, we'll come back to this another day. Let's do some ephemera. All right. I'm going to start with some old... Oh, I forgot Piglet. Get back in the bag. Um, Annie, I'm going to bring it back another day, honey. We passed on it. Okay. Let's see. I have some photos. I have some ephemera. I'm going to show you how big the lot is, and then I'll go through and show you. Okay. That's how big it is. Okay, Annie. Um, and this is, we have uh, the Golden Wedding, 1849, 1899. Wow. Look at that beard. Holy cow. It just looks fake. It's so unbelievable. No. That's crazy. All right. We're going to start this at 25, you guys. That's a crazy looking beard. And look at her. She looks like a man. She doesn't even look like a woman, does she? There's nothing feminine about that woman. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, woman. Um, here's another one. Is that a man or a woman? Guys, serious question. Is that a man or a woman? Hmm. I'd have to go with a man. Me too. A woman. Oh, that was easy, T. A woman. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> a man. <laughs> That was his mugshot. <laughs> uh, a bird. <laughs> that looks like his mugshot. A girl. Henry Hatch Photography. Bedford, Massachusetts. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and then let's do some cards. We have these are those linen linen feeling cards. This one is Colorado, uh, nineteen thirty five. Right, flipping hot finds. It's the Transylvania family. <laughs> this is a beautiful one. All right, and here's this, which is in. It doesn't say. The writing is way too small. Colorado. This one is marked, I don't know, old, and they used a fountain pen. Look at, they scribbled. Were they underlining or scribbling out? Look at those waves. Oh, there's the postmark. 1908, Lake Worth, Texas. We pine for you, spruce up and come. All right. Here's another one. 1908. I love looking at the writing. Having ideal weather. 1908. Right, Deborah? No one smiled. <laughs> no one smiled. 1924. All right, I'm going to do this quick because you know me. I'll be looking at every single little note and reading every single one. 1908 again. This one's not written on. Those are the waterfalls. Um, uh, gosh, look at how beautiful the writing. 1909. Does that say Schreiker on it? Does, does Schreiker have an, a relative named Emma? <laughs> it kind of looks like Schreiker from your family. 
Weather 1909. Oh my gosh. So like 1914. Looks like a, is that a ski lift? No. What is that? Oh my gosh. Look at the people, you guys. And the photograph. See, these are the kinds of photographs, the postcards that people really want. What are they doing? The men are up there. I don't know. What, oh, here it is. Pikes Peak, Colorado. The summit. Okay, I'm going to go fast. What was Sorry. the year on that? It's old. 1914. Wow. 100 plus years old, right? Mm hmm. This is an awesome one. This hotel, Los Angeles, California. Here's another very old one. 1914 again. Denver. 19. Hey, oh, this is an old one right here. 1906. 1906, November 11th. You barely make out the writing on that one. It's so old. It's like worn out. There's that's another old one. Nikki's at 40. Oh, is that the same? 1912. Miss Eva right. Barnes. Bruce, where have you been, friend? Bruce, I was asking for you. Last night, I was asking for you. Hey, Gary. Gary. Gary's in the chat. Gary's part of 1909, you guys, 1909 on this one. Ooh, look at that boulder. Wow. It's like standing on one. Oh, my gosh. Huh. Look at him all dressed up to go, like, rock climbing. Right? right? He probably would flip out if he saw what we were today. There's a one cent. I can't read the year. Here's another one cent. Here's another one cent. I'm not showing you the front, so I'm just showing you the backs. I'm sorry. I don't know. The backs intrigue me. 1935. Oh, this is this is like a new one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll go fast. It's a big stack, you guys. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is, uh, it's in Colorado. Look at, oh my God, Laura, Laura jewelry, etc. Et would go crazy. Those are all like, what are they? You guys, you do, you, you stone people that they're like, they're like growing crystals or something. Yeah. Really cool. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the back of that one. It's beautiful. Look at how primitive. California. God, that bed looks so uncomfortable. All right. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. I'm going to stop. I'll just keep showing you. If I come across something that's like, oh, my God, then I will show it to you. I mean, a lot of them are. Oh time says stagalatites. What's that? The, the crystals or the, the things in Colorado. Oh, what are they? Stagalatites. Tennessee. One cent, 1945. Oh, that's a new one. Some buildings. Colorado. Look at how pretty this place is. That's gorgeous. Oh, the stamp, the stamp must have fallen off on it. You guys, I haven't even gotten to the greeting cards yet. There's still a lot more. These are just the postcards I'm showing you. This is a big lot. So some more buildings, 1908. More buildings. 
more buildings. At this point, I have Bruce at 55 and there's nobody else bidding against him. All right, well. I'm waiting on you though. Let's wait and see because they might change their mind when they see some of these old photos coming up. Okay. 1912. Hey, Oki. Okay, and here's some more old photos. And the Three Witches, New Bedford, Mass. Oh, this is really cool. What is that? It's an old photograph. Good night, Dawn. Be well, honey. Good night, Dawn. Thank you for coming in. Here's oh, my God. I didn't even realize it's almost 11 o'clock already. Is it? Gosh. I forgot we went on so late. I know. I couldn't get it together. I was so busy shipping. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. It's a Viking ship. No reproduction of this photograph may be made without the proper permission. That's an awesome ship. That's an old photo. This one's cracked, unfortunately, but someone taped it. The Vikings are wild. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this baby. Look oh at the God, back. The dress is bigger than the baby. <laughs> the back of it is just as beautiful as the front of it. You guys, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. The backs are so pretty. Oh no, mother's live. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, she's going. Sorry, you guys about the disturbance in the background. All right, nobody else came in, even with all these old, beautiful photos. And then I have a ton of beautiful greeting cards as well here. We have Deborah Reed in for 60. This is so cute. It's like a little book. Okay, I just jumped at them. Franklin Hill comes in for sixty five. It's Friday night. Why aren't they all out? <laughs> God, because they're good kids and they stay home. Jesus. I'm going to go have a party in the garage. They should be. Oh, look at how pretty this one is. They should be out drinking with their friends at a park or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Look at My this one. cat should go play in the street. You see it? It's three dimensional. Oh, That's yeah. cute. It's so pretty. All right. So this is, this is a pretty tremendous lot, you guys. It's really beautiful. Hey, Mary Ness. Donna, love the family noise, right? Oh, thank you. Karaoke so, time, says Hot Flip and Hot Finds. That's tomorrow night. That's Saturday night. Karaoke night is Saturday night. That's tomorrow night. That's tomorrow night. Did you hear it? <laughs> Jill told me to mute myself the other night. I was like, oops. Oh, look at this one. From our house to yours. Look at how pretty oh, that well, is. Mildred again. Remember, we couldn't think of anybody named Mildred these days. That's the second time now we saw a Mildred. 1950. Isn't that an awesome card? It's made out of like a tin. Guess who's a Mildred? Who? Oh, Mo Isaac. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm almost done. What in the world is this? Look at that. That's an ugly card. Ew, what is that? 
with love. A, pin, a, a needle through the heel? On the heel of your holy socks. What the? That is the weirdest card I've ever seen. Snoopy? Is that what this it's signed? Is it signed Snoopy? It is, but I don't I can't imagine walking into a store and saying <laughs> that's such a beautiful card to buy my home. <laughs> For Christmas. It's a potato. Oh my gosh. It's terrible. It's horrible. That, that guy is <laughs> yeah, it's signed Snoopy Lisa. This one's beautiful. I love this one. Look at that one. Oh my god, that whole card and everything should just go. <laughs> yeah, right? Only Snoopy would send that jelly. It's terrible. Look at how cute. This is adorable. Shelly. I love looking at all these old cards. I just love it. Yep. Snoopy sent a weird, dirty sock card. <laughs> so strange. Maybe her husband has a foot fetish. <laughs> Maybe. I just can't imagine walking in and saying, this is perfect. I've been looking for this card. I've been no. looking for it. I Someone's swear. looking for that. Not. <laughs> Someone's been Gary's looking like, for that card. You don't see cards like that anymore. Not. <laughs> Ooh, this one's fuzzy. Like the wallpaper in that place. Here's a pretty Valentine's Day one with sparkly hearts. Another Valentine's Day. And that's it, you guys. And two more Valentines. So that's the whole lot. You get a lot of great postcards. I mixed it up so you don't get all postcards or all greeting cards. You get some great photos and some great reading cards. And that's the whole lot. And those of you that haven't tried ephemera yet, I haven't tried it either. <laughs> I hear it selling like crazy. If you watch my video, I couldn't believe the prices of um, some of the pictures that Jesse had. Like $8 for one picture, black and white photo. Oh, yeah, that's normal. Phew, Richard says, I'm sleepy. Yes, <laughs> fuzzy. Yep. Thanks, Chris the Goose. Yeah, I think it's a great lot, too. All right, we're going to sell it to Franklin Hill Ventures. All right, how much did you get for it? 75. 75? All right. Very good. Because I wasn't watching the chat. This is lot number seven? Yes. All right, T, you're up. Okay. All right, I'm going to do some Rolling Stone mags. Rolling Stone magazines. October 14th, 1999. Nine Inch Nails. Franklin Hill. I shouldn't be selling this. I love Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> but I will. I'll sell it. Uh, I don't know if I thanked Franklin Hill. Thank you, Franklin Hill. Thank you so much. August 3rd, 2000. July 6, 2000. June 22nd, 2000. August 17th, 2000. <laughs> Kyle Elliott! <laughs> Kyle, really? <laughs> <laughs> August 31st, 2000. <laughs> Reeves. 
someone other than dad joke one, but I thought we needed another dad joke. <laughs> March 5th, 1998. Kate Winslet, Titanic. Is Titanic really that old? Is that movie that old? 1998? Really? Yes. Yes, That's it is. 21 years ago. Yes. Wow. Oh, my God. Holy She's cow. She's as old as we are. Exactly. February 1998. Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is an interesting cover. February 2000. They needed two VHS. That's right. It was originally on VHS. That's right. I forgot about that. I actually have it on VHS, I think, somewhere. Um... January 22nd, 1988. I'm talking to you again and I'm muted. What are you saying? I was talking about Shelly's comments. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, holy potatoes suck. Snoopy caught and I didn't even know they existed. <laughs> Uh, this was, oh my God, I can't see. April 26, 2000. Stop, girl. What? What is it? <laughs> so if you lost one of the tapes, it was either a movie about a great ball with lots of fun activities and traffic. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. I think I'm getting slap happy again. June 1988. Oh god, now I'm laughing so much I can't see. This is 1988. <laughs> oh god, help us. April 7th, 1988. This is a biggins. This is a biggins. This must be a oh, it's a special college issue. A special college issue. Damned if I can read it though. January 1991. It, no. No, it's not 91. It's 88, I think. That's when his subscription expires. We've got Richard at 20. Dave, what are you doing? March 24th, 1980. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find the year. Okay. I mean, it was like you were really into that book. <laughs> no, they are interesting. All right. So you got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and 14. 14 issues in total. Deborah Reed comes in for 22. Thank you, Deborah Reed. Nice kid. For, for these being 20 plus years, some of them are 30 years old. They're in really nice shape. Thank you. 
What does casual mean when she says predator is here? <laughs> your fan and your laptop sounds like predator. Oh, again? Nobody said anything. I thought it was doing so good. Sorry. Sorry, casual. All right, we're going to call to Deborah. No one else? All right, let's call to Deborah. And I was actually going to keep these. We're not sold. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, hello. 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 Hey, Big Sky Flipper. What's up, Jack? I almost uh, wrote it down. Um, Ello is in yep. for 24. Sorry, Jack. I have, I'm sorry. 26 we need, honey. I hate to be that person. But I do follow rules and I make them. <laughs> 27 from Deborah Reed. How you doing, Ello? How you doing, Jack? All is good. Thank you guys for coming in. Appreciate it. Appreciate you coming in on Friday night. Nine dead at a Pearl Jam concert. Do I remember when that happened? Hmm. Thank you, Jack. 29 from Jack. Deborah Reed said she got her AARP magazine today and George Clooney was on it. And when I went to the... Um, AT&T store this week to switch services from Verizon to AT&T. The girl at the counter said to me, she goes, are you an AARP member? And I kind of looked at her like, why do I look old enough? <laughs> I told her I wasn't because I'm not. But I guess AARP is like, gives you benefits like AAA. You get discounts in, you know, different, different areas. Hey, Harry. Hi, honey. Hi, Harry Humstone. I don't know. I'm thinking of joining AARP now so that I can get the benefits. <laughs> the yeah, and I think you only have to be 50. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you only have to be 50. My husband's proud. Like, if we go to IHOP, he's like, I'm a senior. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually proud of it, too. But I want to say. All right, Deborah Reed, let us know. How much is it to join? You went to the liquor store today and they carded you again. The key is to act like you don't know what you're doing and they think that you're underage even though you're 32. Kyle's 32? I guess so. He's a youngin. Young enough to be my son. How much is it to join AARP, you guys? Yeah, Lisa says, yes, it's 50. Could have saved you money on your phone. Right. Flippin' Hot Fine says, yep, I'm a member. You can get great hotel discounts. 35 for two, four, or four years. All right, we're going to sell it. Selling it to Jack for 29 Interesting. Congratulations, Jack. That seems cheap enough. So I was going to list these and I'll tell you what, you may, you got a great deal, Jack. There's not one of these that was sold for less than 10 bucks and a lot of them sold for 20 and 30. So nice deal, but I just don't have time. That's why I'm bringing the, the awesome deals for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, let's see if you guys want to see another poster. 
Let's see what I have. I don't even know what I have. I brought a bunch of posters home. I'm not even sure. Oh, this is an oldie. This is an Alice Cooper. It's in rough condition, I will tell you. It's been, it looks like it's probably been rolled since 1970 when it was, I think, I think I saw the date on here is 1970. Let me just double check. Really huge insurance savings, like car insurance? I need car insurance savings, bad. Yeah, it's 1972 on this. I'll put it up to the, I'll put it up to the, to the. You know what? Let me just show it. It's, it you'll have to take my word for it because it's going to be very hard to show this because I swear it's been rolled up since 1972. But if we have any Alice Cooper fans, there are some issues with it. It's not, you know, again, it's uh 50 years old, almost as old as I am. So Hi, got, Welcome in. You've got it there. There. Hey, Anthony. My hey. favorite Alice Cooper song was "Welcome to My Nightmare." Do 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 do. I think you're gonna like it. Do 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 do. You guys remember that song? Mm -hmm. I think you're gonna feel you belong. Oh, that's awesome, Kyle. Yeah, School's Up for Summer is another great one. All right, do we have any interest in this? Any interest in the Koopa? Any interest in the Koopa? 50-year-old poster. What's the start on it? I don't know. What 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 should we start it at? What do you guys want started at? Start it at ten. Yep. Let's start it at ten. Sounds good to me. I definitely should have gotten a loop, but it's so hard to hold the post to open and the loop at the same time. But trust me when I tell you, it says 1972. Snake phobia, sorry. <laughs> and if there's no interest, that's fine. We can pass on it. All right, let's pass on it. It doesn't seem like anybody's interested. Doesn't look like anybody's interested. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this one. This one. I almost wanted to not bring this one, but I'm gonna bring it. My husband sees this. He's gonna kill me. Gonna kill me. That's beautiful. Wow. Is, right. that a black, is that a black light? It's poster? a black light. It's a black light. 100% oh black light. Yep. That's Felt. Amazing. Felt. Let me. Um... Did I, Courtney? Thank you so much. That's awesome. Courtney growing my channel. She's nice. Amazing. What year is on that one, T? I'm going to tell you in a second. That's what I wanted to get to. Oh, sorry. That's okay. 198, here it is. 1982. That's when I graduated. Class of 82. Josh Noons wants your um, Alice Cooper for $10.
Yes, it's felt, Ed. Yes. T, did you hear me? Yes, I heard you. Okay. I know. It's really awesome, Sergeant Spork. I know. My husband is probably going to disown me when he finds out I saw, I'm selling this one. Because I think he probably... What is this one here? Let me see. Oh, it's just a piece. There was just a piece of paper on it. There's nothing wrong with it. I thought maybe something was going on with it, but nothing's going on with it. Hey, Josh, be careful, please. What is he doing? Tell him to stop driving and, and typing. Don't worry He's about it, Josh. I got you, baby. I got you. He's on his way home. That's amazing. Well, I just had two plates of spaghetti. <laughs> Great. She's going to be sleeping any minute now. <laughs> I'm already ready for bed. <laughs> I just need my grapes and I'm good to go. Well, you got to set up the lava lamp first. You can't go anywhere. I might not do the lava lamp tonight. Why not? Because I need to, I need, because the last four nights I have not got good sleep. I have to make sure that the lava lamps are safe. <clears throat> I think they're safe. I can just I can just do the the red lava lamp tonight. It's so beautiful. Yeah, just do and something. That's, and that's easy to, to, I have to talk to somebody when you go to sleep. <laughs> I know. And that's easy to just pull. Luke and I need to hang out in the corner. Gary's coming over tonight. All right, right Gary. I'm gonna do the red lava lamp because that one's easy, and I can trust. I think I can trust this one. All right, so we're gonna call this the Eagle Black Light. All right, T, I'll be right back. All right, honey. And Josh, I got you on the Alice Cooper, honey. No worries. Yes, Ed Jafrida. What is Ed one? Glows with a black light felt poster, 1982 Eagle. Yeah, probably, I probably should get a black light to <laughs> shut the light off, right? I've got edit 33. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Junebunk. Thank you, everybody else who's bidding. Hot, flipping hot fines. Thank you, thank you. Got flipping hot finds at 35 first. Okay. That's true. That's true, Kyle Elliott. Never thought about that. That's so true. Does she turn her phone off at night, though? Does she? No, I don't think she does. Doombug came in. Now we've got flipping hot finds at 45. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, June Bug. All right, I don't want to keep rolling it because <laughs> if anybody wants to see it again, just let me know. But I hate to keep like keeping it rolling it and not rolling it. I know another. Nikki, I need forty-seven, honey. Thank you, June Bug. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Snowy Sue. Ed's at 51. Picky Nicky. We're not flying at 56. Thank you, guys. I knew a nut that held a lighter up to his lava lamp to make it go faster. And guess what? Oh, gosh. Why would you do that? Ed is out. Some people, they don't think. I don't know. Crazy. This was the Cooper. This was the Cooper. <clears throat> Thanks, Casual. 
Yeah, yeah. you did, Deborah. You really did. <laughs> All right, we have flipping hot finds at 56. Ed is out. Did we get an out from Junebug? How about an now from Picky Nikki? Yes, we're sold. Yes. Flipping hot finds for 56. Congratulations. And then I'm putting lot number eight for Josh. Yes, please. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I mind. Okay. Hi, Joyce. Hey, Joyce. All right. <clears throat> See if there's anybody interested in one of these. This is Rudy. I don't know if you guys know the movie Rudy. It's actually signed by um, Rudy. Did anybody see this movie? Mama G, did you see this movie? If I did, it's been a while. It sounds yeah. familiar, but I don't know. <clears throat> I think it was based on a true story. And <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what the significance of the 45 is, if anybody knows. <clears throat> If anybody is interested in this, I'm going to actually do this as a buy it now. And I have one, two, I have five of these. And you guys, obviously, um, I'm not going to wait till you buy something else. So because of shipping, I'll do them for $12 each. And I won't wait to ship uh, because they have to go on a poster thing. Unless, of course, you ordered another poster. But um, they have to go in, you know, in a poster roll, and there's nothing else I can put in there with them. Um, I think 45 was his jersey number. You might be right, Robert. So if anybody wants it, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do a buy it now, twelve dollars each. The first five people to type twelve in the chat, I will sell it to you, and that's shipped, and it will just go out by itself. All right, KJ wants one. All right, so you ready? Yes. KJ, Josh, Bettina H, Richard says him 20. Oh, okay, Richard, thank you. <laughs> And Mrs. Anonymous. Okay, we're sold. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Donna, are you back, honey? No, she's not back. Okay. Let's see if anybody's interested in these. This is the stack of them. They are um, a pack of postcards. And like this one has Halle Berry in them. I think they're all different in here, but let's go. I'm going to open one of them. I don't like to because they are sealed, but just so we can know what exactly these are. Because honestly, I, I pulled these from the units and I, I didn't really pull them all out. Yes, they're all different inside here as well. I can't see why these wouldn't resell, to be honest with you. Good night, Elsie. So I guess you could sell them as a set. You could sell them individually. You can mix and match. I don't know. <clears throat> but this is they're not all Halle Berry. This whole this whole stack is here. But I'll show you what else is in this lot. I want to start this lot off at $15. All 
Good night, Elsie. We'll get, we'll get it back. All right. So that one has all of Halle Berry. This one is Christina Aguilera. And again, they're all sealed. There's all different ones inside. Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Here's another Angelina Jolie. Here is, I'm not sure who this is. I think, is that? That's Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Okay. I'm bad. Here's another Christine Aguilera. This one is, uh, do you know who this one is, Donna? No. Mama G? Let me see it again. I'm sorry. No. Doesn't say in the back? Um, no, it doesn't. And these are this one's a little different than the other ones on the back. They're all postcards. Let me see if I have a name on any of them in here. Let's see. Oh, yes, there is. Leah Dizon. It's on the bottom of this one. D-I-Z-O-N. Deborah Reed's like, that's me. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. And that's uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't know. But they're all postcards. Imagine why they wouldn't sell. Joyce says, T, I bought a bunny from you and it wasn't on my last invoice, but Donna invoiced me for a long-legged bunny. Did my bunny hop over to Donna's? No. That was that long-legged bunny that you won, Joy. You should have got it by now. Joy, you bought a bunny from me? I don't remember. She did I send that long-legged one from me, remember? That did I send it to you? Donna? Oh, that's Britney Spears. Britney, right? I thought so. I'm bad. I'm worse. Adriana Lima. Is that Taylor again? I don't know who it is. No, that's Jessica Alba. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know who that is for okay. real. Kristen Bell. Frank, if you're in the chat, I still have your bunny. I'm going to invoice you tomorrow on Sunday. I'm trying to think of the bunny, jo uh, Joy. Not sure who that is. The big body bunny? Yeah, oh, the big body bunny. Everybody, everybody will know who this is, and I don't even have to show the name. I don't know who that is. Brittany. No, Pamela Anderson. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. No, sorry. <laughs> Sergeant Spork is in at twenty seven, but he's also in at thirty. Okay. <laughs> I have that problem too sometimes. <laughs> this is Alyssa Milano. And this is Beyonce. All right, so that's what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 packs, full packs. Plastic Pamela, yeah. Like Donna said last night, we're aging gracefully, right? Is that the right. way you no, no, no Botox or plastic surgery. Look or, at what, look at what um, Donatella Versace did to herself. I know. Oh, my God. She's like a monster. She looks like a monster to me. Jackson so much plastic, plastic surgery. 
Joy, uh, who who bought that bunny from you that had the really long belly and you had to fold it? The real awkward torso. Are you talking to me? Idea. Yeah, I'm talking to you, T. I sold a bunny? You showed a bunny, but it was really big. It was that really tall one, that plastic yes. one. That was like a door stopper. I didn't sell it. Okay. It didn't sell. Actually, Misha wanted it. I think Misha or was it Misha? I think it was Misha. You were going to give her a shipping quote on it. Oh, my God. It was like $50 to ship. It was crazy. Even through uh, UPS? Um, uh, USP, uh, UPS. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't 50, but what I'm saying is, well, it, it was, it was like 30 something. I, I mean, I had to make something on it. I, it was like, it was like 35, I think. And I told her, all right, how about just 50? But I, I knew she wasn't going to want it at 50. I mean, I had to, I had to charge her something for it. Right. <laughs> yeah. So did she buy it? No, and I don't. I don't blame her. Uh, you know, you probably could go and get it for cheaper than that. I thought I did. What the door stopper one, Joy? That one. Joy, I'll drive that to your house if you want it, honey. I ain't shipping that to you. I'll come over and bring it. <laughs> if you want that, let me know. I'll drive it over. Did you join? And Joy. see, I I thought the same thing. I thought that thing sold. All right. I'm going to have to check, Joy. It's yours, honey. If, if you want it, you definitely can have it. I'll have to look back through my list. I never remember seeing it, Mama G. I don't remember seeing it. Now looking for a deal, said they think Joy bought the long-legged bunny from Donna. She did. Donna said she did. She did, and they shipped it. See, a big bunny with long legs. So she's talking about the one from Donna. She, she, it's not the one from UT. I mean, I can run and just grab it and show it to her if that's the one she wanted. Yep. That was Donna's. Yeah, that was Donna's. That was Donna's. <laughs> All right, so right. Jack, just let right. me know what this you big think. Tall thing, like a door stopper almost, Joy. It had sand in it, right? Yeah, it's got something at the bottom. It's somebody said it was a door stopper. That's what somebody said it was. But it's an Easter bunny. It's got a basket in its hands with a carrot and the ears. But it it had a plush top, I think, and the bottom was plastic. That's because of, I think the sand is in the legs or something. We have Jack at 60. What's the size of the large child? It's like 20, I think it's like 26 inches high. <laughs> Yeah, it had long legs. Joy, it's definitely the one you bought from Donna. It's definitely the one you bought from Donna. Yeah, Joy, I sent it with your last lot of plush. It should be on its way, according to Donna. It's on its way. Or she already, oh, got, she already got it. All right, we're going to be sold to Jack. Thank you, Jack. All right, honey. I'm up. 
Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay, so I have a lot of watches. Um, I was I had said that I was going to do these watches, the fitness ones separately, but you guys, they need batteries, they need chargers, like, I don't know, somebody has to buy these that can, like, service them. Um, so this is what you get. I'm going to just do the whole lot. If I come across some that are like charged and I know that they have chargers with them, there's some chargers. I'm going to show you the bin. There's one, two, three, four. <coughs> Excuse me. This one's a Disney one. Well, it's good luck, Jack. Good luck with that, honey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. There's 33 watches on this stand. 33 watches. And then there's a bucket full of bands. These are all bands. And some of them I know are for, um, this is for an Apple watch. That's an Apple band, I know for sure. Um, and then some of these, I'm, I'm not really, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. But there's, some of these have, these are like the interchangeable um, watch bands. But there's also some, there's also some watches in here. They still have the, the peel on them. They haven't even ever been used. Okay, so you get all of those bands and miscellaneous watch pieces. And I think I saw some chargers in here too. Let me see. What do you want to start this lot? 25. There's that, which I'm not sure what that is. And then there's... Um, I know there's a charger in here somewhere. I know I saw it. Oh, here's a charger. USB charger for a watch. Okay. So all of those pieces and all of these watches. Kyle Elliott, you should be on pirate ship. That's a simple rate export for about $8.49. I just sent something to Canada today. And there's that one too. That has like these beads on it that I didn't have time to. Jonathan Roseberry, hi, sweetheart. Treasure Hustlers, what's going on? Hey, ladies. How are you, Sarah? Okay. These are kind of cool. These hey, are Crown um, Royal. These are these are like sports watches, but they're like bracelets too. They're Saxton's in at 27. They're pretty like rope bracelets. See them? But they have um, the watch on them. I just don't know how they work. There's a Pokemon one and a upside down. Is that Tinkerbell? Yep, that's Tinkerbell. I actually heard, Sylvia, that Simple Export is getting better because they're using different carriers now and not just the United States Post Office. I got a message the other day about it. Saxton's in at 32 now. And I'm telling you, I sent something to Canada today for less than $9. It's cheaper for me to send to Canada than to send to California. How crazy is that? Yeah, California is so expensive. What's that other state that's really Texas. expensive? Texas is so expensive too to ship to. I pay for now from Deborah. I pay hundreds of dollars in shipping every day. Including, I think my pirate ship bill last month was almost two thousand dollars. This one is Verizon. Oh yeah, like I I usually my my pirate ship is like between four and five hundred dollars a day. Just in shipping, 
not including the bubble wrap, the tape, the boxes, the the bags, the you know, all of it. It's cost of cost of business for this is really high. Thank you, Sarah. I was going to suggest that to Kyle. Yes, you have to do that. Yeah, Sylvia, can you believe it? Sylvia says, "Wow, yeah, it's like between some days it's some days it's like 500." 36 now from Saxton. I look at what I pay for shipping and I'm like, "Oh my god." Yeah, it's awesome backpack treasure. I think it's going to be a good thing. I think it's going to absolutely be a good thing. Deborah's in at 38 now. This one's really cute. That looks like a like a maritime one. Yeah, it looks like a a, a life Just, preserver, right? Life preserver, yeah. 40 from Saxton. Good night, Carla. Good night, Carla. Carla, I'll try to get your box out tomorrow. Get you something going, something really good for you. I'll send you an invoice in the morning. There's some really pretty ones in there. Aren't they pretty? Look at how many pretty ones yeah. there are. Nice. Yep, and some of them have batteries. You can see the clocks working. I know. I need to get some more of that free packing tape. I have to order it. I know, Joy. It is crazy. 42 from Deborah Reed now. Really? Really? And I got to get more bubble wrap tomorrow. That's a hundred dollars. Easy, yeah. I'm just about out, and I got more more dibble boxes. I got to build with breakables. It's not 12.41 p.m., is it? Oh, it's 11.41. All right, Deborah Reed's going to get them for $42. That's a great deal. Plus all of that. Sold, sold, sold. I also have the German Shepherd police dog. Yes. No, it's not a police dog. It's a German Shepherd with a Philly. The Philly shirt. <clears throat> All right. That was lot number eight. Deborah Reed. For the watches. For $42. Right, Deborah? It was the German Shepherd with the Philly shirt, right? So I'm looking right at it. it didn't have um, police, police clothes on it. Oh, we just tell you three year olds it's a police dog. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I have some more of that gospel music from last night. This is truly the last of it. This is the last that I have in the case. <clears throat> I don't have any more. <clears throat> so here we go. I'll show you what I've got. I've got um, Marsha Griffith Electric Boogie. 
Tommy Boy. I can't read these. Um, I can't read some of these titles. Timber. I can read that one. This one is MCC. This one is World and How Nice Am I. Let's start this at 30. Okay, Mama G. Um, oh, you already did it. Okay. Rough House Survivor. Proceed. Splack Pack. Kinsu. No idea what that one is. That will be a surprise. Relax the pep. Mentally disturbed. Al Scratch. I thought this was gospel. <laughs> it is cross gospel. Group home living proof. Um, empty thoughts day by day. Uh, P. Diggy and Loom. Um, Eric Seaman. Double or nothing. Capital Tax. The Masha. Um, the Doom, Parental Advisory, King Just, Fresh Kid Ice, 95 South, um, Wreck, um, these guys, Um, Hick, whoever that is, and then there's um, these two dudes, it's upside down. Yeah, you want another one, Fader, um, must stay paid. Oh, this one's green. You see it? This is a green one. Camara. Um, Dr. Octagon. Sir Germain. And Wreck again. So this is a huge lot of records. I'm going to count them for you. <clears throat> There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. 29, 30, 31, and 32. There's 32 records in this lot. 32 of them. This one's awesome. Do I have a poster with it? I don't know. Is this the blue one? I wanted to look at the blue one. No, it's not the blue one. Is it? No, that's the black one. This is the blue one. Oh no, it's green. It's a green one. It's pretty. It's awesome. Monet, Camara Monet, it says.
must stay paid. Feeder. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Saxton. The doom. The boom. Capital tax. This one was when it came out was ten ninety nine, or maybe that's what it was at the record store. I don't know. I don't know if that's a record store price or <clears throat> someone was selling it for ten ninety nine. I have no idea. Bad Boy Entertainment, Diggity Loom. How many did I count? Do you remember, Mama G? Empty thoughts day by day. I, I think you said 32 albums. Yeah, something like that. I think these these ones without the um the actual like record, they must have been like I know I bought a record collection from someone who was a DJ in New York City, and he had told me that the ones that don't have any record cover on them were like promotional records that were given to DJs just to play in nightclubs by the bands. I don't know why they wouldn't give them, you know, an album with everything on it, but a lot of his albums were kind of just like this, like just black. That's how I feel sometimes. <laughs> Mentally disturbed. Hip hop. Reality reggae. Oh, it's in English and in Spanish and instrumental. So this must have been like a DJ cover too. And they could play all the different versions. Maybe they're like special or something. Casualty of War, this one. Relax with Pep. Casualty of War. Eric B. and Ray Kim. Promotional only, not for resale. See, look. Right? This one half the labels missing. I don't know why, but it's on this side. It's fine. Maybe they did that. Oh, let's see what this says. It says Black Moon. Oh, is Bolo Buddies in the chat? Is she here? I've got Saxon at 170. Yes, she's here. I can tag her. I'll just put that down. <laughs> Look at this guy. Okay, then. That's gross. <laughs> On the guy's face, he's like, okay, then. <laughs> mm -hmm. She said yes. Oh, hi, Bolo Buddies. <laughs> 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 hi, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you may want to close your eyes with some of these. She says, I am listening. <laughs> Sorry. And you Frida. <laughs> <laughs> Tag 
Patties with a T. <laughs> Where is Patties? What is this guy doing with this monkey? No. <laughs> Donna. Donna, no. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Just no. Does it mean something? <laughs> No, honestly. <laughs> he is the new hunky. No, honestly, what is that? I don't know what that means. All right, Kyle, get okay. out. Gosh. This is quite the collection. <laughs> Jeez. Cheese and turkey. Junebug is like, oh my God, I don't, I really don't know what it means. Do you really want us to answer? It's really a thing. It's really a thing, T. It is. Tell me in the chat. Courtney is. They here. just did. Huh? Go dog go told you in the chat. Hi, Misha. I didn't see it. I'm hey, not going to say it. Go, dog, go. Okay. There's no market for the plush. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't, he says, save a ton of money in productions. Don't mean to ramble, but giving you the 411. No. How about he's holding his monkey, Donna? Oh. Chunky monkey? Saxton got it. Saxton, you got the monkey. <laughs> Saxton got the monkey. From 170. That's lot number 10. Nine. Nine. Sorry. Nine. I got it. I corrected myself. I'll go back on mute. Sorry. No, 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 no. I corrected myself before you, before, you know. I caught myself. <laughs> Records. To Saxton. Awesome, Saxton. I hope you make lots of money on these. I have no idea what I just sold you, but I hope you like them. All right. Let's put them right here. And what do you think, T? You want to save the rest for tomorrow night? Sure. We've been on for three and a half hours. I got to set up my lava lamp, my lava lamp live. You guys, thank you, Courtney. Another big, huge shout out to you. Thank you so much. When I just checked, I was at 37 and 11. Nice. Um, yeah. So, Courtney, like, really, like, 50 new subscribers from Courtney today. So thank you for all your hard work, Courtney. That really was awesome what you did for all of us YouTubers. I think I speak for all of us when I say that. Um, Hi, Misha. So you go over. I have no idea what I just bought. Laugh out loud. I'm playing, hun, in another window. Hope it's a good, it's a good time. Oh, God. She doesn't even know what she bought. <laughs> Saxton. Thank you for the support, Saxton. Um, Rachel, I, I will put it up behind me for, as the first lot tomorrow night. I promise. Thank you, Jack. Thank Thanks, you. Jack. You guys, I'm going to set up the lava lamp live. If you guys want some place to go and hang out and chit chat. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and go over and watch our videos too, guys, and leave a comment. It really helps. Yes. Please. Absolutely. And if you guys aren't subscribed to me, please subscribe to me because I didn't get as many subscribers as Donna. Just saying. Sorry. It's all right. Can we just think about how T has come from two Fridays ago? I know when she was in the hospital. Right, Gary? Misha, do you know about my new channel? My Lava Lamp Live? There it is. Uh, Shriker's all over it. Thank you, Shriker. 
Thank you. Yes, I have, Courtney. People just don't love me as much. It's okay. I'm good with it. Oh, stop it. I'm That's good with true. it. It's okay. Um, are we doing coffee in the morning? Uh, it's on your channel. <laughs> you should do a thumbnail. Yeah, I used to say I used the same thumbnail on Saturday and Sunday mornings. Use the same one. It doesn't have to be different. I don't have it. It's on my old phone. Oh, I'll send it to you. I can send it to you. My thumbnail with our pictures on it. Did you make one for coffee or did I send you the one with the coffee cup? Yeah, but I put the sparkles on it. I can make one. I'll make one when I'm watching Lava Lamp Live. Okay. If you need the coffee cup or something, let me know. I'll send it to you. All right. Thank Andrea, you, Shelly. Andrea says, I would subscribe to you twice, T, if I Aww, could. Thank you, Andrea. I know, right, Richard? It's not true. We love our tea, Shelly. Numbers son. don't lie. You have almost 500 views on your video. I know. That's, that's awesome. I don't know how many I have. How many I do I have? Picky Nikki, thank you, honey, for coming in. Appreciate it. All right, you guys. We'll see you for coffee in the morning. We'll see you over at Lava Lamp Live. Mama G, as always, thank you Mama so G, much thank for you. coming out. You're welcome. Oh my God, is we going to hear a cat fight? No. Why is it going to be a cat fight? Why does Richard think there's going to be a cat fight? I don't know. Good night, Nora. Good night. Almost 500. Awesome. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. We're going to say good night. Sleep tight. We'll see you at Lava Lamp Live if you want to come hang out and talk about whatever. Doesn't and matter. Watch our videos, please. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> yes, please watch our videos. Okay. Bye. Bye, Mama G. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye.